Hey everybody, welcome back. Now we have a really cool one. I don't know if you can tell by the Microtech box, but it has been well loved. It is actually here thanks to a good friend of mine, Dylan Mallory. So in the comments, give a huge shout out to Dylan. Thank you for sending this one over for me to check out. I, once I got it in hand, I was like, do they make a blue one? And they do. Now I gotta find a blue one. So this is the LUDT, the Tactical Standard 135-1T. So I'm gonna set this off to the side just a little bit because the knife is right here. Now you guys, I don't know what you thought, <laughs> what your thoughts are on Microtech or on the LUDT, but I'll tell you what, I'm digging it. Uh, aluminum scales, a little bit of see-through relief there. Lanyard fans can rejoice. Dylan has his hooked up with his as well. Push button, auto, out the side. That cool tri-way hardware. Now let's see the snap. Pretty good. Now this one, manufactured in March of 17. Dylan's got an awesome, awesome one. A lot of billboarding on the blade. I get it. I know what it's for. But nothing over here. So maybe they could have spread it out. But overall, a beautiful knife in LMAX steel. Coated blade. Man, this is cool. We're going to do it again. Push button auto. It's all contained inside here. No locking mechanism. I like that. What do you guys think? I need to know your thoughts on the LUDT. I know some people have had them. This isn't a new knife. It's been out for a long time. What does LUDT stand for? Large underwater demolition team. They made a smaller one, a shorter one, back in the day, like 20 years ago, I think. Morfion put it out and it was a hit. So they made this one, brought it back. A little bit bigger, people loved it. I can understand why. I mean, the weight on it, it's like three and a half ounces, but it's it's just kind of perfect. Now I have a large glove size hand, so it fits very, very nicely in there. But overall, fantastic milling. That aluminum handle, I think it's the uh, 6061 T6 aluminum. What do you guys think? Hardware pocket clip. It carries really well. Dylan sent this over. It's got a super crazy sharp edge, of course, from Dylan. Got that little bit of jimping in a thumb ramp, so it just kind of locks right in. But if need be, you can get further up on the blade, and your jimping's right there for you. A little bit of jimping built into the scales as well, just for that thumb ramp. The back of the thumb ramp has it as well. I dig it. Uh, I saw the blue and black version. I was like... Uh, yeah, so put it on the list. We'll see if I ever get one, but I know a couple people. We'll see if they can keep their eye out, see if I can get some money put together. That is going to be on my list for 2022. But overall, let's do some specs. Let's do some, you know, standard. You guys probably know about this, but the blade length, 3.375. Closed, you're looking at 4.625 inches overall. You're looking at eight inches. Like I said, that drop point LMAX blade, beautiful flat grind, pretty thick overall. So you're getting a good solid knife in this package and it's ready to go to work. You know, it's ready to be put to use. Uh, I'm seeing these for about 263 and some change here and there when they're in stock. So maybe they'll put some more of these out. That'd be kind of cool. Made here in the USA by Microtech Knives. A little branding there. A lot of branding there. Maybe they'll put out a new version, redo some of the laser marking. Who knows? But I dig it. It's pretty cool. Now, do you guys have one? If you have one, let me know down below what color and what you like about it, what you don't like about it. That'd be kind of cool to know. I have carried it for a little bit. Thanks, Dylan. Um, but I have not found anything that's totally like, I, I would not use the lanyard myself, but that's just me. Um, you know, maybe if you have a little bit larger hand, it might not fit as well. So that might be one thing. Um, smaller hands though, you should be able to, you know, be just fine on it. 
it's pretty smooth on the handle on this part. You'll look, like I said, a little bit of that jimping up there as well, which is kind of cool. So your finger kind of locks in same time your thumb does. It's solid, you know, pretty cool. Uh, let's do some comparisons. If you've never seen an LUDT, let's do some comparisons. Uh, you know, the standard comparison, the Spyderco Para 3 Lightweight. You got a good look at that one. So pretty similar handle length, a smidge shorter than the Microtech. And the blade's about probably half an inch shorter. Uh, the Benchmade Bug Out. We'll do a comparison with that one. Kind of a staple on my channel, of course. So you get a, you get a look at that one. Uh, handle length, a little bit longer, but the grip area about the same. This one's moved up further though. So pretty similar. Uh, blade length, however, uh, maybe an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch shorter. Obviously a little bit thinner as well. Now, get into a little bit bigger knives. You got the Benchmade Super Freak, which is when I first saw it on pictures, I was like, oh, it's gonna be like the Super Freak, but Microtech version. But the Super Freak's gonna be a lot thicker. Well, not a lot, but a little bit thicker, but a lot thicker in the handle and a little bit longer, of course, as well. And then blade length, you're pretty darn close to the same, a smidge, smidge difference with the Microtech. Uh, and then, of course, a new one that Benchmade came out with last year, and they just released the Plain Edge version, and that's the CLA. Uh, I don't know why I always call it the CLA. It's not the CLA, it's the Claymore. The Claymore, okay, so, a little bit bigger handle, a little bit bigger blade, push button auto similarities. Of course, you have your FRN driver handle, makes it a little bit lightweight. So kind of Benchmade's version of that from what I can see. Overall, like I said, this LUDT, pretty awesome. I'm digging it. I really have to give a huge shout out to Dylan for sending this out so I could take a peek at it and uh, hold on to it for a little bit and uh, really test it out and see what I like about it. So you guys, let me know down in the comments, like I said, do you have one? Uh, if you do, what's good, what's bad, and of course, what color? You know, I've seen some purple, uh, red, blue. Uh, of course, you know me with the blue and black, I dig that. But overall, a pretty solid knife. So I would recommend this definitely for anyone who's checking it out, but they gotta get some more stock out there. So I don't know, maybe, I don't think it's been discontinued, but I see it out of stock a lot of places. So, all right, you guys, make sure to do something kind for someone. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. And most importantly, take care.